Sky is our new web UI for MediaPulse, which is supported by most web browsers. One new feature supported in Sky that is not available in the Smart Client is Charts. Charting is very powerful, extremely fast, and easy to use. Users may create charts for any data they have security for. Here we have a dashboard with four different types of charts. The first is purchase orders by PO type, and if I hover over here, I get the total count. The next is jobs by account rep, followed by work orders by their work order month. And lastly, the number of suspended tasks we have. Let's take a closer look at the work orders by month. There are a lot of really nice features here. We can go into options and change the type from a vertical bar to a smooth area and change the grouping from month to week. And now we get a chart of our orders by week. And if you hover over, you can get the exact amount. Another really great feature is you can filter by relative dates. So if you hover over the calendar icon, there's an option called relative. And this allows date ranges to be entered relative to today's date. For example, this allows creating charts that grab data from the last seven days or three months. Additionally, you can add a series. So I'm going to go back and change this to a vertical bar and make this by month and add a series by account rep. So now we're seeing the orders by month by account rep. Another nice feature is you could shift, click, and drag to zoom in on a particular portion. Also, we could come in and maybe we don't want to see the count, but maybe we want to see the sum of the work order totals. And we can change that, and now we get a financial value of each of our orders by month by account rep. You can also click on account rep's name to remove them, or click to add them back. As you can see, there are lots of ways you can manipulate charts. Now let's create a new chart. We'll come over here to the navigator, go under gadgets, create chart, and now in the options window we're going to select a pie chart with a data source of jobs. We're also going to choose the layout of jobs as well, and this is where we can filter criteria from if we choose. And then we'll call it jobs by type. We'll come in here and change the domain to job type. Click OK, and now we get our search list. We have a pre-search defined, and so we'll just click search. And voila, you've got a jobs by type pie chart. Another great feature is you can pull and drag, add it to a separate panel. So now we can see all of our charts at once. Each user can create their own, or they can be shared across users. You can mix and match charts with list blocks or maintenance documents. As you can see, the sky's the limit with charts.